The omniscient Toth, Jehuti in the ancient Egyptian language, is the inventor of writing and therefore also of magic. He was a prominent deity in the ancient Egyptian religion. Toth had his temples, worshippers and sacred animals. He was traditionally represented as a baboon, as an ibis, or as a man with an ibis head. These animals were his living incarnations on earth and were mummified and buried, sometimes by thousands, in specific cemeteries. This impressive wood sarcophagus of a type rarely seen on the market was used for a mummified ibis bird. It is decorated on four sides. The longer sides show identical but mirrored scenes. Within a red and green frame, a priest is offering incense to a large ibis in the centre. It is wearing an atef crown with a feather on its beak. A winged sun disk hovers above the ibis. The jet pillar, as well as the isis knot, shown behind the animal, are general protective symbols. The undulating snake above the frame also has a protective role. The opposite side shows two opposing figures of Toth, with the figure of a man and the head of an ibis standing within a frame, wearing the atef crown and holding a scepter. A few holes in the lid, corresponding to holes in the side panels, mark the places where pegs now missing fasten the lid to the box. The inscription over the back of the ibis seems to refer to the ibis due to its positioning, but in fact belongs to the winged sun disk. It says, Behediti, he of Edfu, the great god, the lord of heaven, colourful of feathers. These titles tell us that the sun disk is of Horus of Edfu, a city in Upper Egypt and major cult centre of the falcon god Horus. The way he is depicted here with his wings in a rectangular position is similar to that of the vulture goddess Nekbet hovering over the king. Interestingly, on one of the longer sides, an inscription in Demotic can be found as well. This informs us about the person who dedicated the sarcophagus and also gives us a date which is unfortunately incomplete. The text, translated by two specialists for Demotic, says Year 8, second month of the Arket season, last day. The Ibis of Jehutiu, son of Jehuti Sedjem. Demotic is not only a script, but also a specific stage of the Egyptian language between late Egyptian and Coptic. The name of the devotee who dedicated the piece in his father's name are indications that these were living in a religious context closely related to Toth.